Happening today, riding an e-scooter will come with a bit more responsibility. Now, riders can't just ditch them on the sidewalk anymore. Fox 13's Kelly Cowan joins us now. And Kelly, these scooters have caused a lot of issues for, for pedestrians and for drivers, right? They really have. They become a bit of a headache for a lot of uh, pedestrians, motorists, and even divers uh, in the Hillsborough River. So they have become an issue, but they're hoping that new parking rules are going to curb that. And they're hoping that this is going to become the norm downtown when it comes to the e-scooters and e-bikes. You'll see more of these neat rows of scooters lined up in the designated parking areas. So starting today, e-vehicles will have to be parked properly or that ride is going to get a lot more expensive. The parking corrals are areas that are typically marked off by paint on the sidewalk. Sometimes you'll find a formal metal docking station. Sometimes it's something that looks just like a bike rack because it is. And if you are not using those areas, well, you could face a fine through your app. But the app is going to show you exactly where you should be parking your e-bike or your e-scooter. It's going to help you find the closest places to park it. It'll also show you areas marked off in red where you absolutely should not be ditching that rental scooter because you will be fined if you do. City officials are hoping that these new rules curb the biggest complaints that they receive about the micro mobility devices, which is that people are leaving them in areas that end up blocking driveways, sidewalks, streets, and yes, vandals, even throwing them into the river. We started pulling these, these uh, scooters off the bottom and then contacting the companies to say, you know, what do you want us to do with these? Keep Tampa Bay Beautiful says that its dive teams have had to fish hundreds of e-scooters out of the Hillsborough River over the last few years. And the mix of salt water and the lithium ion batteries that's in these things, yeah, that's not good. In fact, the the group says that they've uh, actually had one catch fire while they were still on their boat after pulling it out of the river. So these can become a major source of pollution and certainly a big hazard uh, when they're trying to be cleaned up. Again, that corrosion that goes on, it's not good, and we certainly don't want them clogging up our waterways either. So they're hoping that these new parking rules change that. They've made sure that these areas are away from the river to try to dissuade bad actors. Yeah, good. Put them back where you found them. All right, Kelly, thank you.